I'm going to pay people off when they fuck me. <laughs> but why? You wouldn't be married. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. Well, what if I am married? How do you know I won't be married? Have you heard you say talk about marriage? I've never heard you talk about marriage I ever. I've talked about marriage before. No, I don't think you did. Yeah. Mm. I would. I'm a, I'm a freaking... A freak, yeah. I'm going to be an amazing wife one day. I'm not going to argue that. I'm just saying we've never... I don't think we've talked about you getting married. Are we talking about kids? Yeah, I want kids. But yeah. I want a husband. Yeah. I don't want to have another husband. I want my wife and another husband. So you want to be a uh, <laughs> uh, polygamist? Yeah. Polygamy. No, not really. No. Make up um, your mind. I don't know what I want. I'll never know what I want until I get it. Yeah. Well, Even when I get it, I will know what I want. Probably true. That is true. Huh. Huh. Strange world we live in today. It is a strange world we live in today. Yep. How have you been? Are you live? I'm recording. Not live. We're recording. We're recording. I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm good. A, I feel a little woozy up in the dog. Woozy. Did, did you go to Bill Cosby's house? I wish. <laughs> Drugged everybody, just slept and uh, raped them. Oh, maybe I wouldn't like that. <laughs> I'd be fine with the drugging part, though. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, he's in jail still. I think if he's not dead. Bill Cosby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Post Nut Clarity. My name is Tony Devin, Florida Tony D, and to my left we have DJ Fire Raya, Miss Raya. How are we? I'm doing good. Yeah, are you high right now? No. You you're acting like it. <laughs> I, I feel high. You're like oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel high right now, but I'm actually not. I'm just fucking sick. She's high in life or Sudafed. I don't know what her. I haven't even taken any medicine. Nothing. No. Just fucking have you been sleeping losing. at all? You need to sleep. I slept. Hmm. I woke up around. I slept for ten now. hours. Ten hours last night. Well, I don't know how. Good for you. No, I really don't. I, I really, it, I don't know why I slept like a rock. I mean, I woke up in the middle. For some reason, I wake up in the middle of the night every night to go to the bathroom. I don't know why, but I think I drink a lot of water, like a gallon of water a day. So I think that's one of the reasons why I. He does that. Yes, a lot of water. Lot I like water, though. Water. Well, a lot of people don't like water. I like the flavored water, those, the, the. They taste like Sprite. Yeah. The ones you have. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and, it, and it's actually from Walmart. It's like 80 cents. It's like wonderful. Thanks. And then, um, but they're really good. You like them. I do. You like the flavors. I don't, I don't think I like any other flavors. I think it's the key lime. The key lime is good. Yeah. It's, it has to have sugar in it. Though. I don't know. Nope. Where is it? Where is he getting that sweetness from? I don't know, but it's zero everything. It's just carbonated. It might be from the carbonation. They might have a flavored carbonation. Because you can inject f flavor into with air molecules. Yeah, you know, like the smells, same thing. Like when you smell like fragrances no, in the, in the I'm air. No, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Mm, okay, okay. But it's at Walmart, 80 cents. Promote it or sponsor us. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will push that shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks like you're wearing a nice, lovely jersey half off your shoulder. What does that say? That says uh, District 13. District. Th That's me, ladies and gentlemen. It says District 13? District 13. No, it's a Diarigo. That's on the back. The name on the back is Diarigo. Oh. We're both wearing. Yes. I am running for Congress in District 13 and U.S. Rep. Um, 13 for Florida. Yes. If you didn't already know, because I don't know. I like to talk about it. What do you want to talk about? It's been two weeks. I feel like I'm on another planet right now. How did you drive here? Were you know. okay? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I almost hit a few things. But I oh, my. Well, well that's normal. Things. Yeah, that's yeah. normal for you. Uh, yeah. I don't drive anywhere right now. Almost. Do you need, do you need to lay down on the couch? Like, what is the couch back there? You... The backroom casting couch. <laughs> I want to keep talking about Stormy. Okay. Stormy. Stormy brought the, brought the king down. Brought the king down. It was That must have been worth it, though. I know yeah. she said she regretted it, but 130 and 
what an iconic case. Yes. Uh, she's, she, yeah, she probably put herself back on the map. Yeah, I, I probably, she'll probably be doing so many things now because after that, like, like even more porn. But I don't think she's done porn in a while. Um, but she, I bet you she's going to do a lot of speaking events just talking about the, the, the craziness that she went through and, you know, the, the mental effect on it after being suffering. Did he make her sign an NDA? Yes. And so how did that go about? Well, those don't really com- um, go in unless... Um, for an NDA, it's if it's not in committing a crime, which it was. So he can say he, they, she could if if he wasn't running for president at the same time, the NDA would still be in, in play. Like she would be sued for discuss to, to breaking the NDA. But since it was in the process of doing something illegal and, and a felony, that's where the NDA gets thrown out and. Um, the case goes as uh, normal because it is an illegal act. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, that's I don't know. He's got 34 there. He's got uh, more in Atlanta and more in D.C. for the insurrection. So he's got he's got a full year. His sentencing is uh, July 11th. July 11th. He can be sentenced. I mean, there's a maximum of four years per count. Um, so there's 34 counts. But he did violate the gag order ten times, so and he didn't get put in prison, so he's probably gonna get the minimum, um, maybe four years total. Um, but I don't know what the exact minimum is, but it could be just hefty fines and barred from a lot of things. But uh, here's the thing: in a lot of states, you can't run for office if you're a felon. That's a lot of states, and that's a lot of the red states too. So I'm curious to see what. Um, what uh you know er, er, um what is it called gymnastics that the republicans are going to try to get him back on the the ballot doing that because he's already been taken off the ballot once um in multiple states in colorado maine and he got put back weren't even allowed to vote they aren't that's the point well some states like i said in this state since because he's now a florida resident so now he 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 hasn't been sentenced yet, so technically he can vote at this moment, even though he's convicted. But he hasn't been sentenced yet, because in Florida, after you pay all your fines and you go through, go in jail and get released, you get your voting rights back. But that's after after you get out. So right now he's in that limbo where he's not in yet, but he's a convicted felon. So when he gets sentenced and gets hauled off or whatever, he would have to do his sentence. Plus, pay whatever fines that he's going to have. He's going to have plenty of fines, um, and go from there. Then he'll be able to vote again. But like I said, in a lot of states, if you're a convicted felon, regardless if you p- paid your dues, you still can't be on a ballot. So there's multiple states that are like that, and I'm really curious of what the you know how they're going to maneuver around that. Um, but that's going to be something really fun to watch in like October, September, and October. Because um, he will have to be off a couple ballots in different states. That's very curious to me. Very interesting. But like in Florida, he technically, if he gets convicted and sentenced, he can't be on the ballot in Florida until he completes his sentence. So another four years? Well, it really depends on what he's sentenced to. Like I said, he'd have to do his sentence and get released whether good behavior or whatnot. But after that, like I said, after he pays his dues, he can get back um, his rights, his voting rights and whatnot. And I'm actually curious if it does apply to running for office in Florida. But I don't know. I, I can see some some crooked DeSantis thing going on there, that he's going to sign like an executive order like he did for himself. So I can see some snakily doing that. But DeSantis don't get along with him right now. So I'm really, I'm, I'm really curious of what's going to happen over the next six months. For it's the election time, six months away, ladies and gentlemen. That's incredible. Now, what are your thoughts on that? I want to fuck the president. <laughs> you missed your chance. Barack already was president. He's. Yeah, I would have. Yeah. So would have. I, I think he was one of the youngest that we've had in a long time. We need too. to make Violet Ray a famous name like Stormy Daniels, so that way that's one of their top picks when they want to fuck a porn star. They think. Oh, Violet Ray. Well, get me in office, and then you know I'll work that in. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good times. Good times. 
Um, and then you just pick one out, and then you'll be like, hey, I'll make sure he singles them. Well, we only have, no, we don't need to make sure he's single. <laughs> Why would we do that? That's how you get the hush money. Ah, uh, well, true. That's true. I don't want to fuck him just to fuck him. I want to fuck him for money. And for uh, kids. Notoriety. You know they're going to make you, you know, sign an NDA, right? Okay, but I could still get money. True, true. But 130 grand, you think it's worth it? To find a hot Congress guy or whatever. Or uh, whatever, yeah, I don't know. A married one? Yeah. I think we signed an NDA with him, yeah. Hmm, maybe. Yeah. The goals. Hashtag goals. Hashtag goals. Stormy Daniels, I love you. You're my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're amazing. I look up to you. Oh, so this weekend, or no, a couple days ago, you were hung up on the rafters again. How did that work out for you? Oh, okay. <laughs> what rafters? Um, I thought that was like a metaphor for something in my life. No, it, it was very uncomfortable, like. I hear. Oh, yeah. My, I have, like, I don't know how to describe my vagina to you guys, but, like, you know how some vaginas... You, you can pay on, to see it, though. You can. <laughs> and then you would know what I'm talking about. And there's free videos online that you can go find and also know what I'm talking about. But there is, um, like, you know how some vaginas, like, the insides come out of the lips? Never seen one in my life. Okay. Not you. <laughs> We're not talking about you. We're talking about the people. The people who know what vagina is like. So my vagina Half is, the people out there don't even know what a clitoris is. Okay, well. Okay, explain. Go ahead. Thank you. Sorry so for interrupting. I have more of an any vagina where, like, my vagina is... I, can I just show a picture? No. Like, my lips cover what's if in you, my if vagina. You, if you want to see a picture, send, send the, to this cash app. Like, right there. I have, to, <laughs> I have to open my legs for you to see what's in you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you can't just see my vagina. Yeah. Not when my legs are closed because I have vagina lips. Yeah. I felt like I had an Audi vagina. <laughs> like, everything was coming out. <laughs> I was like, wow. I thought I was going to get, like, what's the word? Reconstructed from that shit. It was not. But it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Whatever. I mean, it, it was a good shoot. It's showbiz. It is the show, man. I mean, we wear uncomfortable things for the business, the entertainment factor. Um, but, you know, it's definitely a pleasure, you know, shooting with you because... Uh, you must be. I mean, sure. Sure. Yeah. There's a lot of love there. There is a lot of love here. Um, it's mostly coming from this end, but we'll just... From your end or my end? My end. I love you, too. Aw, that's Me so too. sweet. Look at us. We're going to have a baby soon. Anyway. This one night. <laughs> might take us a little while, but we'll get there. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, no, but I actually thought about freezing some of my sperm um, and seeing you what... Should. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. You know, you, what do you do? You just jack off into a little lab tube? A what? A little like, lab tube? Uh yes 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 and you know, I mean they're they're like petri dishes so like I mean not dishes but they're like this big they're like um um like medicine bottles That's, I know what you're about. yeah they're just, you the seen, rounder the thicker ones have you seen that documentary of that guy in New York and he had over like seventy kids he was a sperm donor the, I mean I've, I've I haven't seen that specific one but I've seen other cases There's where some. yeah I mean now here's the thing. Now, for those people that do that, do you think it's right for the kids to go find the father? Well, they all are finding their father. It's one person. Well, I mean, because a, a lot of those places are oh, like... Oh, you're talking about when they like it's disclosed? Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about the one doctor. The doctor freaking impregnated all oh oh see like i said we're talking about different stories because like i said it, it's happened so much that you know you know there's always stories of these kids finding their father their, their that were like, test tube yeah i feel like a kid should be able to go out and look for whatever a kid wants to look for um it's also on law and order special victims unit john stamos was actually um a doctor 
who actually was poking holes in condoms and sleeping with women, and he had like a hundred kids um, on the guy purpose. On Full House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind having his kids hot. Yeah. Um, he could poke the hole. In his but he was doing it like without the because because he was wearing a condom, like so. That's fucked up. It is. It is. It's fucked up. I it, wouldn't mind if it happened to me, but if it happened but, to someone else, that's oh, fine. And it was a lot of people. That that that, that was a great episode. Um, definitely a good episode. Oh wait, it didn't happen in real life. This was a show. Um, I mean, I really think that some of those are based on real real things, but it, yeah, that was a show. Um, but I also hear other stories where you know, it's I mean, it's a whole whole thing with uh, donating sperm and whatnot. Because some places you do it for money. What was that? Go ahead. Go ahead. I fucked this pretty like popular rapper. We were in this hotel room in LA. And after he came, he was wearing a condom. He took he, the condom with him. No, he oh. poured hot sauce in the condom because <laughs> he thought I was going to take it out of the trash and put it on myself. See, we were always taught to take it with, like, when I, when, I, when I started to do, like, TV and everything like that, we were always taught to bring it with us, to take it, like, leave it on. Don't even. He poured hot sauce in that bitch. No. Had a little thing of Tabasco in his shit. And poured Tabasco in. That's, I mean, that's a new one. That, that, that That's definitely a new one. Like, that's insane. Yeah. I was like, I'm not that desperate. Yeah. <laughs> like. I mean, but you never know out there. But at least he wore one, though. At least he wore one, because he could have been, you know. Well, I would always make a guy wear a condom if he wasn't tested. No. Oh. Yeah. Ever. Never, ever, ever. I couldn't even. I couldn't tell you the last time I had to wear a condom or last time I wore a condom. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I mean, I really only fuck for work. Besides this one guy, <laughs> he's so hot. <laughs> Jesus Christ! But he's also in the porn industry. So yeah. He's always tested. Yeah. Yeah. But I only really fuck for work, regardless. So I yeah. don't really need any. You can't wear condoms in porn, really. So. There are some. There are some. That, I feel like that ruins the point of it. Well, I can't. If I, yeah, I would get the opposite of turned on. If I watched the porno and someone had a condom on, I would, I would throw my phone. Well, I'd get so, so you didn't watch all those bang buses where you know the porn star like Megan Rain, they're like ripping the condom thing off like all slickly and just like just pop, pop. No, I didn't watch this because I don't agree. I like bang bus. Bang bus was actually one of the first um, adult films that I used to pirate. But those were like the originals, like back in the day. Yeah, I was gonna be on Bang Bus, and then I saw the van, and I got a little triggered. Cringy. Uh no, more the just white triggered. van. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is gonna bring up some childhood trauma, so I'm like, I'm what do you mean? Do that. Like the moving, moving van, and like getting fucked in a moving van, and like the whole thing of it. Like I could play roles that I've been through. Yeah. But that I wasn't ready for. I I would like break yeah. down and cry. Mm. I couldn't do that yet. Now I probably would do bang bus, but like I like more like elegant areas. Like yeah. I like the pool boy on the couch in a yeah. mansion. Like yeah. I don't know. You know the ones I've, I've actually been getting root into? Couch, yeah. Those, kind of. those are classic. That's just classic. There used to be another version of it. Classic. Um but it's it, that's classic. The cast and couches. The backroom casting, I think it's called. It's a, yeah, it's um, a little iconic, but yeah, kind of it's, like, it is. It is kind iconic. Of gross a little. I mean, they clean that couch. No, I mean more just like ratchet, grimy. You know, mm. like I'd rather be like but, getting fucked on a yacht than a couch. Well, yeah, but it's the part of the mystique. Yeah. And I the whole so. like. And they treated me excellent there. Yeah. They were great. I I, I wouldn't doubt it. They you know, great. a lot of those bigger companies are. You know, very good to their to their uh, talent, um, which they should be. I mean, I've I've heard some horror stories. And I've, I mean, I've I've experienced some sketchy directors, but mm, I mean, you just got to go in, do what you got to do, and just collect a paycheck at that point. Um, but when the director is really gross and weird, like it's hard to maintain that hard on. <laughs> it really is sometimes. Like they have to have like extra fluffer. Just to you know, just to stay on there. Like it's it's not that easy. I, I don't know if you understand how hard it is with a fluffer or needing a fluffer because the scenes can go for a long time, and you're doing different shots. And if you you know you have to have like a good 
fluffer at that point just to keep you like aroused at that point yeah and normally the town is also working so you don't want to be the fluffer I've been the fluffer for like the male towns. Yeah. The few scenes I've done. Got to start. That's where a lot, lot of them start. But no. Yeah. I uh, hire fluffers. Yeah. Hire fluffers. They're definitely necessary. Um, and I mean, especially if you have a big scene with multiple guys, like like a gangbang scene or uh, or a scene with uh, just mul- just multiple guys in general. You, you definitely have to have a fluffer because it's like usually the the, the shots with one guy and then they goes to the fluffer and then they, they do a tag team and then yeah. they swap out and that's it's just that's that's the the, the folks that's the the movies the movie business well the adult movie I'm business. not in love with the guy I was in love with um, oh no shocker here yeah. sad am I shocked ladies and gentlemen you tell me I'm not shocked either. I'm not shocked either. Yeah, um, yeah, I actually said it that day. Yeah, <laughs> it lasted longer than I thought it was two weeks. That's pretty long. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. pretty long. Our love has lasted longer. It anyway, has. it's been a few months now. <laughs> yeah, I know. One of my longest relationships. Seriously, we <laughs> Go us. Yay! Can you see? No, wait. Yeah, there it is. That noise sounds familiar. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <gasps> okay. Breathe in and out. Namaste. I, I, you know, I wanted to say something else about, you know, the, the sperm bank stuff, but I, I just can't think of it right now. It sucks. Like, don't get old, folks. Don't get old. That, what would you do if you were dating someone for, like, four or five years and you guys – both find out that you came from the same sperm donor and then you have this weird little feeling where it's like wait what if we're related and you ended up being brother and sister um i mean before like kids are made um or when the person's pregnant you actually get blood tested um in some states because some states it's they require it like jersey they actually require that the parents get blood tested to make sure they're not related because it is illegal. Um, but in places like Alabama, Kentucky, Nebraska, I mean, I don't know about Nebraska, but like those states, it's perfectly fine and legal. And it's weird, weird. Actually, in a lot of states, it's actually legal to bang farm animals still or marry them. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, exactly. I don't, I don't like that. That. Yeah. But, I have this image in my head, and I need to wash my brain. Holy but shit. also, there was a hearing of this one Republican, um, uh, I want to say, state congressman. He was actually defending their right to marry a 14-year-old. Yes, that that really happened. That's literally legit happened. He was like, I, I know a lot of people who married at 14 or married a 14-year-old girl. And they're still together today. Well, because they got raped their entire life. And that's grew yes. Into believing that that's what life should be. Yes, and that's sick, sick, sick. I don't even S-I-C-K. know how. I see. That's I, I don't know how, if I can express it any more than that. But th- this world is still fucked up. There's a lot of things, a lot of laws, in a lot of those weird states where really weird laws like weird ones like you can't buy well actually some states you still can't buy liquor on sundays or you can't have liquor and beer in the same store in pennsylvania's like that like their beer you can buy it like i don't know if you can buy it at a supermarket but it has to be a beer store and a liquor store it's really weird you can't buy them both in the same place so super weird yeah yeah i think they're crow laws or something like that but yeah, these states, that's why everything needs to get really fixed. It's, I don't understand it. I don't know. Have you run in any weird, weird laws like that? Or have you experienced something in another state um, where you're like, why are you doing that? Like anything like that? I mean, you travel a lot, almost as much as I did. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I just I don't really do like 
What's the weirdest I, thing I, that you experienced in your traveling days during travel? What's I the most mean, weird thing? One time my bikini was too revealing in Barcelona, which I was. Don't they do nude beaches? There? Yeah, <laughs> but I think you're not allowed. You're allowed to be topless on the beach. Yeah. But then you're not allowed to walk on the street in a bikini. Huh. So a cop approached me and my sister, and they were like, "You need to cover, cover up. up." Wow. And we were like, "Interesting." Oh. Hmm. Okay. Because aren't uh, they like famous for nude beaches there? <laughs> yeah. Teddy's out, bums out, yeah. everything, but huh. not on the street. Well, at least they got border, like, like they got uh, boundaries. Yeah, I was a little scared though, because they, they're Spanish, like all their like C's or like Z's are like th, like yeah. they. The, the dialect is different. So I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> I was like trying to understand them. I'm like, yeah, and I thought I was like actually in trouble for something like bad. Yeah. But then they were just like they said it again and like showed my top and I'm like, okay, I'll put on the shirt. Oh. Yeah. Well, the different Spanish speaking <laughs> countries definitely speak Spanish differently. Like Spain, they say it, they, they speak very proper, very proper Spanish. Yeah. Um, Puerto Rico, it's a little bit, not fast, I don't want to say faster, but it's a little more Spanglish. I'm best with Puerto Rican Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, I'm also there every I mean, they, they speak, you know, all Spanish, but like they'll be like, they'll say something and then they'll slip it in English word. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's, that's because we're all like back and forth like yeah all the people i know from puerto rico because i rent out there mm -hmm. and when i'm there like they go back and forth from miami to puerto rico cause i've actually america. never been to puerto rico i want to i want to go um but i have to find a spanish girl to go with because that'd be yeah well, i mean we already talked about going on a vacation together and cruises um but and then like countries like costa rica and venezuela and mexico it's all spanish but it's just different like mexico i don't even know how to explain mexican spanish i don't know it's, it's I, I, I don't even know how to explain it but it's not like puerto rican spanish like it's very they don't even try english words <laughs> yeah. they don't even try they'll make up they'll make up a Spanish word for anything like it's I don't know and their their conjugations are different too how they would conjugate the different like the tangos and you know tangos or however not really but they add ita onto everything oh that too so it's like everything is like what did someone say to me I'm trying to remember I'm trying to remember, but yeah. I remember they were, like, asking me to pass a straw, and then they were adding Ita onto everything, so then I'm, like, a little fucking straw. Like, I didn't, I yeah. was confused, but hmm. whatever. But like I said, there's, it's just different things that different countries do. Um, like, Italian is a version of, like, like a Latin. I can understand a lot of Italian, like, though. Because they're very close they're together. They're very similar. Like, I took Spanish and Italian in the same years in high school, and, like, it was just a difference of, like, the the, the uh, conjugations and, like, <laughs> I'm trying to think. They're all O's. They're not, like, l women. Like, they don't have feminine and masculine? I don't, not that I remember. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. They definitely have a lot of IOs in, compared to O's in Spanish. You know what I mean? I don't know. I do miss speaking or working with different languages because I, I, with people speaking Spanish around me, I could pick up a lot con uh, conversationally, but I don't like a lot of the conjugations. I, I just get mixed up because I don't know. I'm like, are they talking about her, him? Like, what's like, did that happen, or is it going to happen? Yeah. Like, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, <what> I mean? <laughs> um, but that's travel. You got to be well traveled. There's another um, thing that I see a lot on like TikTok and Instagram is like, there's a there's a British guy who lives in Texas, and he's like, why are Americans so well? The U Europeans are saying why are the Americans so less traveled, and the British guy in Texas is like. They're not less traveled. Have you realized how big the United States is? Like in England, you could drive 45 minutes, you're in another country. 
you could drive 18 hours in the same state and be the same state. Like that's that's like the difference, in like Texas. Um, so it's not really, and each state is completely different. One. Yeah, you know what that I mean. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, you're not less traveled. And he was like, um, when you have a friend who lives like two hours away, that's like booking a vacation and like really planning it when you're in England or whatever. Europe, yeah. And here it's like, oh, two hours away, I'll be over to you this weekend. You know, like yeah. driving two hours is like driving during traffic time from a city. To from a here to home. Disney is an hour and a half yeah. <laughs> to two hours. In that same time, I can go from Paris to the United Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not even not even the same. Yeah. Or Germany or Denmark. Like it's they're, they're so close together. It's it's crazy. But it, I do feel like a lot of people don't get out of the country. Yes. Which yes. is not good. Well, and you have all those people that backpack through Europe, and you never realize how easy it is to do, especially with all of those countries that are so close together. Yeah. Like backpack through Europe, that's, what, a month? Month trip? Where'd you, where'd you go? Yeah. I don't know. But, I don't know, we talked about quite a few things. What's going on in your mind right now? How's that? How's the... Trippiness. Very trippy. High going, my not high high. Good. I'm just out of it today. Yeah. Uh, Did you sleep at all? What'd you do today? Drink soup, laid out by the pool. Mm. <coughs> worked a little. Yeah. Got to get that uh that work in. I worked for ten hours today, so. What time do you wake up? Uh, this morning I woke up at 8. 8. I had to be in work at 10. And I got done at 7. So 9 hours today. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I know, right? Why can't we just be independently wealthy? Let's work on that. Let's work on that. That is ridiculous. <laughs> it sucks. I can't see Five that. days a week. I can't do that. Five days a week. You know, that's the normal thing. Whoever made... Uh, there was a... I forgot who made five-hour, five-day work weeks and forty-hour work weeks. Fuck that guy. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. You're a bitch. Yeah. It definitely happened in the forties, I think. Forties or fifties? No, thirties or forties. One of those. Fuck that guy. Why did they do that? Um, I have no so idea. So we can make the government more money because they would be nothing without us. <laughs> Free Palestine. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. All eyes on me. Well, here's a question. What was your last full-time job? Um, I was a nanny for like three months. Three videos? What? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. It's so gross. But like, what? No, That's an actual video. No, huh? I know. And I would have fucked it at. Well, there you go. Hope he's watching. Probably is, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was a nanny, um, like five days a week, four days a week, like a year ago. Cool. Oh. Um, How many kids? Two. Okay. How two, old? Uh, three and three and ten months. Oh, wow. Babies. Yeah, they're babies. Yeah. Oh, they're babies. babies. I wish, I wish they I were cute. Me too. I, I, all day at work, I see, like, families coming into, like, spend time at the beach. and You know, the little girls are like, it, it's a, so adorable that, you know, I just really want a daughter so bad. You want a daughter? Yes, I do. Oh, they grow up to be little shits. Well, I agree, but I like when they're little. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I know I would have me. Yeah. As a teenager? Yeah. Can't do it. Yeah. Can't fucking do it. I'll go crazy. I was an awesome teenager. That was awesome. Horrible. I was very athletic, too. So, actually, my entire family was all athletic. Yeah. I we, put my parents through hell. They were absolute hell. They yeah. put me through hell, too, but, like, yeah. I put them through hell. How, how do you feel about them now? I love them. Good. Love You're supposed to. Do you call your mom every day? Two, three times a day. I yeah. Sleep with them, with my dad. Mm. But I couldn't deal with me as a teenager. Boys, boys are your little shits when they're younger, but then when they get yeah. older, they're great. Yeah. 
unless you raise a serial killer. Then you're yeah, I, I think boys are easier when they're older. They just spend a lot of time in their rooms masturbating. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Like, like I, I'm not even. Well, I'll say it. My nephew, he's 16. Don't throw your nephew. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> well, I, I remember when I was like, thir- well, see, I lost my virginity at 13, so I was. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, a man meets a girl, and he, and he goes like this. You just stick it in like so? Well, when I was a kid, I didn't, know, I didn't lick it before you stick it. I didn't learn that until I was, until what should, that movie came out, Booty Call. Well, that was 99, 98, 99. How, so. how old was she? Uh, older. Older, 16. Hmm. I was 13, she was 16, so I guess I was uh, taken advantage of. Yeah, you were. Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> but see, it's so different for guys, you know, like being with an older woman, versus, which some I don't support. I mean, I've dated women. older women. What? I've dated multiple older women. Yeah. But, like, it's, I think it's disgusting and predatorial either way when older people go for that much younger people. But at the same time, I like older people, so okay. I would want them to. Okay, hot take. Me. Now, you know all of the, the stories between, with men and our male teachers and the female students. Now, with the female teacher and the male students. No. Know what? No. I don't, I don't know what this no. Stay away from. Yes, well, I agree, but I'm just saying, I think the guys are like, yeah! Yeah. But that's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, were, I had a really hot fucking history teacher. My Spanish teacher in freshman year was so hot. Yeah. So, I, I, I remember her name, I'm not going to say it, but she was so hot. Like, probably one of the hottest Spanish women I've ever seen in my life. Well, at that point, it probably, she probably was. But still, like, yeah. I don't know. What was always your, like, go-to when, you, like, in high school, what type of the men were you dating? Just black. Yeah. All black. Taking yeah. fat fucking BBC for years and years and years. <laughs> I, was, I was raped when I was 14. I'm sorry. Well, by this guy named Chris. Mm. Fuck you, Chris. Fuck you, Chris. And I like didn't know he raped me because I didn't know it was like bad. So let me give a little background story. Please, please. So I was in eighth grade. The I was in a private school. I got kicked out of the public school. Uh huh. So I went to the private school for like three months was bad shit crazy. I was like the little, you know. You bad shit crazy? No. Yeah. Man, I could never be. I'm an angel. <laughs> and, angel of death. <laughs> and, well, Lucifer was an angel. Yeah, anyway, go ahead. I am. I'm his daughter. <laughs> um, You're not my kid. Oh, wait. What? Fucking idiot. <laughs> but uh, he was a senior, and I was in eighth grade, and we were like in the same school. And I had like double D boobs. Wait, wait a minute. It was sixth grade. How old are you again? I'm 21 now. So if I had that kid at 18, yes, you were old enough to be my kid. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. Imagine I actually am. No, it's impossible. Okay. Um, She she got swallowed. You're an idiot. idiot. But he was 18. I was in eighth grade Mm. and he was playing like this like older brother role type thing like showing me around the school introducing me to wait what were you doing with an 18 year old in eighth grade i looked like i was 18 no no i no i get it but how how are you in the same school because i don't know why they it was such like it was a private school there's so little kids that like they just combined a full school with six to Oh, senior. fuck that. Yeah, so you had middle school and that's, high school. Like, that's combined. criminal. It's got to be a Catholic school. Yeah, it was. Or yep. some sort of religious yep. school. Yep, grooming. That's how you groom people. That Take is. them to a Catholic school. Exactly. Anyway, go ahead. And Continue. So, I was, yeah, he was really just showing me around. Everyone meeting me, introducing me to like all his friends and shit. 
And after school, we would always go out to eat or go do whatever. Yeah. And there was never really like, I never felt any sexual tension. Any well, you didn't know what it was him. at that point. I did. I did. But I just didn't get that vibe from him. Um, and Were you attracted to him at all? No. Not at all. Okay. I, was, I liked his friend, actually. Oh. Um, what did he think about the whole ordeal? Holy shit. Holy shit. No. Just kidding. <laughs> I was like, wait, maybe I didn't lose my virginity like that, but that was after. He had these two friends, and I fucked them both in the locker room. Yeah. Male male locker room or female locker room? Female. Okay. But. uh, I like specifics. Those two were cute. (laughs) But anyway, Chris. Yeah. uh, I never, like, I smoked when I was, like, 11, but. Yeah. Cigarettes or weed? Weed. Okay. So I knew, like, what getting high was, obviously, Uh but, like. I didn't smoke that much. And so we were in his car and he was like, oh, like I could drive you home because you missed the bus or whatever. And the school was like 45 minutes away from where we live. Jesus. Yeah. And where was this? I Like in the middle of fucking nowhere. In, in Florida. No, in New York. Oh, New York. Okay. And um, so what's it called? So he said he could drive me home. And so we're like, we're ride dri- you home. Yeah, seriously. And so then we were smoking in his car, and mm-hmm. I, like, was, like, trying to be cool, you know? He's, like, senior, I'm young. I didn't yeah. want to, like, look like a fucking little bitch. And he whips out this, like, big-ass, like, fat fucking bug. And I'm, like, holy shit. I really thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. That would be crazy. But, yeah. um... I start hitting that, and I just, like, I'm oh, yeah. out of it. Like, I've never been that high in my life. Had no idea what well, was going on. Oh, you were 14. On. Yeah. And then I just, like, all I remember is him, like, smashing my face into the window and, like, holding me down. And I just, like, he fucked the shit out of me, and I was bleeding everywhere. Yeah, I don't like and, bleeders. I can't do bleeding. That's not... Well, you, I, that was the first time no, I ever had sex. No, I get it. No, sex, absolutely, you know? yeah. He was, like, he wasn't treating me like a human. Like, he was... Yeah completely like i was just some random Animal. little dog yeah, yeah. meat and um then he like just opened the door and like we were like down the road from my house and he was like just walk home and i just sat there and i think i fell asleep like on the ground there and my dad had my location ended up finding me there and i just was like sobbing to him yeah. and he was like what happened i'm like i don't know like i have no fucking clue and i didn't really put together though I, I didn't have anything to look at to not understand that that's how sex doesn't work. Yeah. That I was so. You had no reference. I had no reference. And like yeah. I watched porn and everything, but I was like, maybe this is just how it is in real life. You know, yeah. maybe they're acting to be more like, yeah. you know, sensual or whatever. And so then after that, probably like until I had my first boyfriend, that's how I would let guys mm-hmm. fuck me. And, like, that's what I wanted. And when they, like, treated me like a human, I was like, like, this it. is, yeah, this is gross. Get the fuck off me. Yeah. And so that was, like, all I took was just, like, these black guys that just, I was this stupid little fucking dumb young girl that they could just do whatever the hell they wanted to. And then probably when I got my first boyfriend, yeah. I was like, oh, wait, this is how people have sex. Yeah. Oh, we're frozen in such an awkward position. Yeah. There yeah, we are. go. We're back. There we go. We're back. Frozen. We yeah, got, but got, yeah. that's all I took when I was younger. It's just a ton of black dick. Yeah. And uh, Well, yeah. I, I, I just want to say thank you for sharing. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry that you got started off on the wrong... Uh, get started off on the wrong foot. Yeah, well, you got started off on the wrong cock. Then. <laughs> I did. On the wrong cock, in the wrong car, on the wrong foot. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I'm sorry that that happened. Um, okay. And I, we thank you for sharing such, oh, a, such a sensitive topic. Because that's, unfortunately, now if you got pregnant, Republicans want you to have that baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just fucked up. Fuck you guys. Yes. Your bitch. Um, so if you didn't think that voting didn't affect real life, 
that's an example of your necessary need of voting for people that are, have your best interests at heart. That's the importance of voting. That is. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm thank you for uh, sharing that story. And I know it was a sure a tumultuous time back then. It was a tum tum whatever you just <laughs> said, tumultuous. Um, but I, I'm happy that you know you're here with us, with me. Um, and uh, on to bigger and better things. Exactly. Yeah. Now I'm a porn star. <laughs> Make a big stride. The relation, I, I don't understand, you know, I, I don't see a correlation between no. the, the early scene and, you know, what she explained and what where she is now. I, I, there's no direct lineage to that at all. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no. Usually it's just, they become strippers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I just... I've always like liked sex. So it's yeah, but like so the way it started. Yeah. 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 Wrong cock. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, uh, and I wish you literally the best of finding your person. Um, you know, I'm a little sensitive. Actually, I, I you know, I I have a very tough like exterior, but on the inside, I'm really soft. I'm a softie. You are a softie. Like I. I I'm very, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say emotional, but I feel for people. Like, I relate to a lot of people's struggles. I relate to a lot of people's, you know, what they deal with in their life, which is why I'm, I'm running for Congress, because I do know how it feels to be poor, how it, how it feels to be not set in the best light or being talked about in the best light. Or, you know, it's different things that people experience that they feel <laughs> that no one can relate to them, but I can. I can re relate to a lot of the people that are going through tough times. I can relate to literally any situation, except for obviously being a woman and being pregnant. And, but I've been the male of, uh, and of, you know, having to go through an abortion or miscarriages or, you know, I've been, I don't want to say I'm not, I wasn't abused, but I was, I've, I've had relationships where they were very difficult to maintain um, a level head. It, there's been a lot of different cases where, you know, I, well, I currently struggle from a lot of uh, mental um, difficulties because of, you know, a lot of factors that I had to deal with going growing up. Um, but you know what? I'm still moving forward. I got everything. I'm, on the right path and i do know that you know i'm i am recovered i am very level-headed and i do know where it needs to happen and what needs to be done to make other people successful in different factors um so that's just how i feel um because i do believe mental health is a very big um issue in america and i do believe that we should be taking it a lot more seriously than what we are now and I Why is there's so much more mental health issues here? Um, I it, I think it all comes down not not all comes down, but a biggest factor is the stuff that we ingest, yeah, the, the chemicals true. that we ingest that are passed, um, you know, with the food we eat and passes through all the the products that get get are not very are not natural. Um, we are ingesting the stuff that are not made for our body. Um, so uh, it affects a lot of different things like hormones, mental stability, um, it, it health issues, obesity, there, all, all these factors go back to the food that we ingest and things where they come from and how, which is why one of my policies is actually going, looking into the food industry and getting rid of all these products that you, you can't eat any other country, like every other country, they can't eat half of the food that we serve here yeah. half more than half like they like the potato chips there are literally just sliced potatoes fried that's it here you go through a list of stuff that's in it it's, half of it's in laundry detergent too yeah like it's 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 so baffling that the the country deals or allows this poisoning of the american people and it's something that needs to be taken care of. And that's one of my biggest issues in policymaking, which is why I, want, I need to get there. And know what? We need to resolve this. And there's a lot of factors that we need to take care of. 
um, to make us more successful and healthy in this world. Taste of the food, can, it can still taste good and be healthy at the same time properly. What they're doing is making so many artificial flavorings and so food lasts longer and it's cheaper for them because there's less waste. That's why there's so many artificial products in our food to keep it last long, lasting longer and it will go further. It will stretch it. Um, there was a study that was, um, let's say, Burger King. Their burgers are 35% meat, but they use a lot of soy products. And actually, if you do eat uh, fast food, Burger King would be the way because they actually use more natural products in their burgers. Um, the other stuff, the grease, oils, and all that stuff, that's still unhealthy regardless. But if you're going to go fast food, Burger King actually has actual meat product in their burgers. Um, so there's a fun fact for you. Like McDonald's. Have you seen the videos where they have like preserved hamburgers just sitting and they don't decompose? They just they're still there. Like it's disgusting, disgusting. So it's definitely the reason for our mental illnesses and a lot of factors in our health, our cancers. All this stuff is referring to the lot of the food that we ingest and the products that we allow to be on our on our body. You know, most men have microplastics in their balls. They did a study I, and there's well, just... Well, I only have one, so... Yeah, you have a shitload of microplastics in your one. <laughs> you do. From the food. Yeah. Well, I, I don't eat... I mean, I eat... Uh, you... I've seen your snacks. <laughs> you have a ton of microplastics in there. You're killing me. Why are you trying to kill me? You're doing it to yourself. I am. What healthy foods do you eat? Do you eat health, nothing I, but healthy food? Yeah, I'm really healthy. But, but why don't you try to help me? That's that, What kind of friend and lover are you when you're not trying to help me survive? Knowing I, I had cancer, knowing I had cancer, knowing I had severe issues. Okay, you give me your card and I'll grocery shop for you. <laughs> I don't <laughs> grocery shop. I eat at work mostly. I don't really have food here. It's true. Hmm. But I do appreciate the, the concern, and I do appreciate that, and I definitely recognize it. Um, I have a very easy diet. I eat the same thing week in what and week out. I would, well, I eat a lot of pizza. I'll tell you that. I eat a lot of pizza, a lot of uh, <laughs> grilled chicken. I eat a lot of fruit. Um, I literally eat that every day, fruit and grilled chicken every day at work. Um, today I actually had daily sandwiches. That's what we had today. Daily sandwiches. No cheese though, because I'm lactose intolerant. But I, the pizza, I'll suffer for it. <laughs> but I eat, I eat Twizzlers. I love Twizzlers. I'm addicted. And I just ate a whole bag, 16 pound bag of pistachios over two days. A 16 pound bag? Yes. 16 pounds? Yes. That's not possible. Sixteen pounds. How big it is might that? Might be six. Might have been six. I'll, I'll tell you right now. Keep talking. I'll, I'll look it up. There's no freaking way. You would oh. turn into a pistachio. Uh, I don't think this is one of those. You would. That's ridiculous. Why? They're so good and addicting, actually. Are they actually addicting? Yes, so addicting. I do like pistachios, They're but so not good. enough to eat 16 pounds of weight. Uh, but yes, they're oh, so okay. addicting. 16 ounces? 48 ounces. So that's what? I'll tell you right now, 48 ounces. 3 pounds. Is it 3 pounds? Yeah. Killing me, Smalls. 3 pounds. Wow. 3 pounds. So yeah, 3 pounds. I thought it was... 16 for some reason, but I thought it was six. And then, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Three pounds of pistachios in two is days. still nuts. <laughs> it's so, they're so addicting. That's crazy. They're so, uh, I mean, try them. I, I think they're actually healthy, pistachios. They are. But it's, oh, they're so good. So, so good. Mm. Yeah. They're up. Meow. 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 Yeah. 
So what what do we have left in our project? What scenes do we have to do? Just the fight scene. Fight scene. Are you training for that? I'm already trained. I didn't say what was run. I meant never mind. Anyway. What? Nothing. Um, yes, the fight scene. We definitely have to rehearse that. That'll be very yeah, important yeah. because you know, rather not you get punched in the face. That would suck. Yes, it would. I don't want to get punched in the face. ASMR. But I wouldn't be opposed to punching someone else in the face. We know this already. Okay. Yes, because you're very violent. Yeah. Only yeah. a little bit. Yeah, okay. Mm, nice. Does that sound good to you? No. The tapping? No. The voice sounds okay. Okay. It's very quiet though. Should I? A little bit. A little bit louder. louder. Yeah, a little bit louder. Okay. Get a little bit louder now. Jesus. A little bit louder now. A little bit. <laughs> before your time. I know some songs from before my time. Just that one was probably not that good. No, it was really good actually. It was actually in Blues Brothers. Not Blues Brothers. It was in uh, Animal House. Don't know what that is. <sighs> John Belushi. Mm, okay. Oh boy. You're, you're too old. You are. See, see, she loves me one minute and then she hates me another. Then she's just mean to me. Oh, plain and simple. She said I had sacky tits last time I was here. That's not true. Prove it on camera. I will. Prove you probably it. cut it out. You probably cut it out. I don't know what you're talking about. You said I had sacky tits. That's not true. You did. Did not. You did. I mean, I can't see your tits from the back. We're gonna fight later. Man, it's okay. I'm okay. With that. <clears throat> so what? What? What do you got for the day? What? what, what do, we, do we? Do we have any more? You have any more ideas, Tux? What? Do you, you have anything else on the mind that you want to get out? Any frustrations that you want to get out? I don't know if that works. Go ahead. Jesus. <laughs> no. No. What? Jesus. I want it. Now, do you believe in a white Jesus? No. Because tell me why all these Republicans think there's a white Jesus. I don't know why they think there's a white Jesus. And they're, they're killing the land and killing everyone where Jesus' people live. Jesus. Well, that's Israel. No. Israel wasn't a thing. It was Jerusalem. No, I'm talking about now. They're killing that land. <laughs> they're killing Palestinians. They're not kid well, killing Israelis. No, Israelis are killing Palestinians. Yeah. 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 Running a fucking genocide. Yes. Fucking little bitches. Yes. Hate you all. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't. Did you want to go more political? I don't know. It's very political there. It is, it's not really political. It's human rights. Well, I agree. They just want their fucking land, and so they want to kill everyone on the land that they want. Yeah. It's like America. America's little fucking. Sidekick, it's what we did to the Native Americans. Just killed everyone off so we could take the land. Now we're watching it again in real time. Well, that is very depressing to look at it that way. That is what it is. Yeah. Well, they did that in, uh, the, I mean, the Jews got the same thing in Germany. Okay, so then to do it to someone else, it's like... Um, I'm not saying they learn from their mistakes. Yeah, but that makes it even worse. Yeah. Something mm. happens to you. And there are a lot of Holocaust survivors who are there even is. being called fucking anti-Semitic now because they don't agree with what is, Israel is doing. Yes. How are you going to tell a Holocaust survivor that they're anti-Semitic? Yeah. It's... Idiots. Just because they don't believe... Killing in, innocent people yes. is right, just so you can have a little fucking extra land. Yeah, and it's but, not even a lot. They just want access to that port so they can – it's all about money. It's all about money and power. That's all it is about. Free Palestine from the river to the sea. Yes, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. We this love week's you. post-nut clarity. Where's my hands? We, we, we love you all. Come Big back. Hearts. Tell your friends. Like, subscribe. Hit that button. 
and bring more people. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. Love you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.